Hello to my Leos. Leos, this is your Lionsgate portal reading. Let's get into it, Leos. All right. So 88 is a very powerful number. You all can look up what Lionsgate portal means. I'm seeing you've seen a lot of videos going on around. But we're going to talk about the number 88 because it's very important. Like eight, um, 88 is a master number, just like when you see 11, right? You see 11, you say, oh, the clock says 11, 11. Master numbers are a call up from the master teacher source, right? It's calling your attention to something. So the Lion Gates portal opened on July 28th, which I'm sure you've seen videos all over the place and it happens every year, right? But the peak, the peak is on the 8-8, right? So first, happy birthday to my Leos. That's first and foremost. And so what are you going to be manifesting? So it'll be open for two weeks, right? So that's about August 12th. So up until about August 12th, what are you manifesting during that time? What are you doing to manifest some things that you've been speaking, you've been thinking about um, as it relates to you, as it relates to you? And this is real tricky because we have some planets that are retrograde. Pluto that I'm thinking of is Pluto is the planet of uh, death, rebirth. Um, it's also the planet of power and transformation. It's also the planet of metamorphosis and obsessions, right? What do you want to manifest for you, right? Not something you holding on to from the past, not something that brings out the dark side of lion energy, like you're in, you know, lions are apex predators, right? So what's going to keep you regal and on your throne? Like, what, have you been trying to manifest your business taking off? You know, again, let's see what you're going to be manifesting. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. So, yeah, somebody tossing some things into a Bernie bowl. So here we have eight of cups. Somebody is definitely breaking away from karmic cycles. That number eight right there. Eight is the money exchange number, but it's also the karmic number. It's also, when you think about the number eight, it has a top window and the lower window, right? That top window is for your vision. Vision of like, what is your purpose here on planet Earth? And the, the lower windows for good product and service. You could be good product and service, like meaning you could be a public speaker, a singer, a musician, whatever. What services do you provide? But that eight turned to the side looks like an infinity symbol, right? Left or right turning to the side. Somebody is tossing some things to the side. Like somebody is saying, it could be a fire sign involved, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that could have affected your fire, like affected your ability at some point to get to your throne, right? And so some energies are watching you. And so remember, this is a lion behind here too. If you've ever watched any animal channels or or like just anything where there's this, when you're talking about wilderness situation, there's not a whole lot of growth in wilderness situations where people are always in survival mode. In survival mode, there's no, it's better when you're in collaboration mode, right? But what are you collaborating for, right? So, so it's just saying somebody is um, learning how to pour more into yourselves, take off that cape and trying to save everybody around you. That's what I see you manifesting so far because you need your rest as well. Um, and that's why somebody is stepping into and recharging in the sunlight. So you may be taking more vacations. That could be something that somebody is doing, not necessarily taking a vacation from your life, but just kind of sort of saying, okay, I need to get structured with, if I want to break away from the a karmic mindset, a negative a mindset, and I want to align myself with other people who are more compassionate, and I want to go along with sources flowing inside of me, I need to physically get away from certain types of energy so I can get, I can get into a flow of some things, right? Listening to my own intuition. So I feel like somebody's manifesting, what you're manifesting is increasing your high priestess gifts. I'm talking to men and women, Leos. Your intuition, really just looking at the dark and light of things. Remember, there's no competition even with high priestess gifts because um, you have a lot of, everybody has a lot of gifts and talents, God given gifts and talents, right? And so you can, everybody can learn from each other. Everybody can learn from each other. Like, okay, so coming together, collaborating. Remember, water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it. So if you're around a whole lot of energy, you know, that's in competition mode, you're going to notice there's not a whole lot of growth. There's a whole lot of survival mode, though. If you're in, in a workplace, a whole lot of survival, there's not a whole lot of growth. There's a bunch of chaos and confusion. If you come in a fan of family, there's a bunch of survival mode, not a whole lot of growth there, Right. And you don't have to look outside of somebody else's family. You can look at you can look in your own family, where you may if you didn't feel nurtured enough or or poured into enough, and you were just thrown out there in survival mode, right? Okay, oh that's too soft. If you're a guy, that's just too soft. Or if you're a woman, you know you know you're around a bunch of toxicity or whatever. I gotta 
So remember, you got to make sure you're not drinking that poison of believing something that you cannot collaborate with energy. So I feel like somebody's putting a manhole cover over the past. It'll cause you to be in competition. If you have kids with somebody, it'll cause you to be in competition with them. It'll cause you to be in competition with somebody else's family, mom-in-law, dad-in-law, uh, your, even your spouse. There'll be opposition there because you're around so many draining energies. You'll feel like your spouse isn't doing enough for you. They're not pouring into you enough because somebody's in 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 um in um in survival mode. So if you feel like you're if you're in a workplace where you're just constantly in survival mode, there'd be there never if you're married to somebody, if you have a partner or somebody at home, there's never enough they can pour into you to calm your fire down because. First of all, they don't even know what type, what kind of environment, only based on what you're sharing with them. So source is saying you got to learn how to pour into your, that's how you save yourself. Because otherwise you're looking for everybody else to save you. It's like you race into everybody's aid to try to save somebody else. And people can't read your mind. They can't read your mind. It can only go by what you're, what you're telling people. So I feel like that's what you'll be manifesting. Like getting from around energy vampires or learning how to navigate your water, your emotions, your feelings, your subconscious habits, your moods, all of that around those types of energy so that you say, okay, if I want to create a different life for myself, I need to learn how to save myself. I'm not in competition with somebody's mom. I'm not in competition with somebody's dad, their family. I'm not in competition with um, my siblings, I'm not in competition with anybody except me, me versus me. When I look in the mirror, I don't need to mirror anything else. This is water energy, right? I don't need to watch every little thing that somebody is doing. I don't need to be, if I got an issue with somebody, why are you watching them on social media? If I, if I, if I have an issue with my neighbor, why do I, not, why am I constantly looking at the cameras? Like seeing what time they leave and what time, um, compliment, you know, saying something about what they driving or, or, who they who's coming in and out of their house. You're not trying to mirror that type of a spirit. So source is saying, take that off of your shit off of your shoulders and say, okay, I don't need to save every I don't need to be around energies that I feel like I need to save them in some way, shape, form, or fashion when it's actually affecting my water. It's it's contaminating my water. So I feel like somebody is doing that. I feel like somebody is doing that. Yeah, if you if you work in a high stress job, it absolutely can affect your home life if you don't know how to pour into yourself. And if you're expecting people in the house, it's like chaos and confusion. There's a bunch of just because it's bringing a spirit back into the house. Or if you have a bunch of chaos and confusion at home, it absolutely can affect your work life. Because you bring in all that chaos and confusion in the workplace if you don't know how to if you don't know how to flush all of that out. So I feel, like, I feel like somebody is going to be manifesting that somebody has new love coming across their path or somebody's going to have to first, like I said, not be obsessed with holding on to the past. Put a manhole cover over. That's why I, that's why I mentioned Pluto. Somebody's going to have to be compassionate and say, okay, I don't know what is going on with somebody from the past because I feel like somebody has been making a lot of assumptions about some things in the past and just uh, just assumptions like okay I, and, and it's uh, based on the, the water the energies that you're around it's based on the energies that you're around so if you're around a lot of toxic energies it could just be a whole lot of assumptions about nothing it really can be oh they weren't raised right you know they they weren't nurtured the way they were supposed to so it's need you to keep it on yourself keep it on yourself so it's need you to keep it on yourself Right, because it's something about you got to remember in order for you to even come across, you had to be on this on the same frequency. So, when you're talking about them, you're also talking about yourself, you're mirroring something in you. So, it's just saying to you, so you're saying something about them, you're saying something about yourself, right? So, um, it's best to keep it on you because that's where the answers are going to come from in within, right? This is not always who people think it is. So let's say you dated somebody back in the day and you're still talking about them. Oh, yeah, you know, their whole family is a mess. They they this and that and, you know, their mom was this and that and so on and so forth. It's something about your spirit that's on that same frequency that you're connecting with, right? So I do see somebody, um, I, I do see somebody finally saying, okay, let me not make this about me. That's not ruminating over something. I'm a, let me get up from this place and put a manhole cover over it. Let me stop ruminating about myself. Let me stop think, making it about me until a point I'm just emotionally drained. Because your ancestors keep saying, here's some water. Here's some water. Here, drink some water. Like basically saying, listen to some water sounds. 
Pour into yourselves. Find out what your moon sign is. Put a manhole cover over the past. If you want new love to come across your path, you're going to have to not be obsessed with the ex. You know, what the ex is doing. Even if there's kids involved, that's what prayer from the throne is about. That's what the prayer is all about. God, I'm praying for clarity about the entire situation. I'm praying for clarity because somebody's going to have to be broken out of that. I got to go save everybody because that saving everybody could actually ruin stuff if you don't know exactly what you're saving. It could be a lot of assumption. It could be a lot of assumption. Remember, everybody has intuition, mom and dad, right? But we live in a society where it's been programmed to say this is women's intuition. There's no way only women have intuition. That's why I'm so glad Pluto is restoring balance to Mother Earth. Men have intuition as well. And so you have feelings about things, right? Don't you have feeling? I have a feeling that number's going to hit. I have a feeling that I should play that particular slot machine. I have a feeling I should drive this way to work today. I have a feeling that, you know, um, that's the one, that's that's my, my, my partner or my wife or husband or whoever. I have a feeling about something. That's intuition. Like, it, it's the, the words that when you use it in lay terms, you know, sort of saying, okay, now it's starting to make sense to somebody. You know, I, I have a feeling that's what I should wear today for that meeting. I have a feeling this is what's going to be the outcome of the meeting. You know, I believe something, intuition. I feel like intuition. I desire intuition. All of that, all of those are gifts. All of those are gifts. So there is no competition. There, everything, all, all the answers that you need are within. So you're not competing against an ex. You're not competing against your colleague. None of those kind of things. Source is saying, um, but you can pray though. You can pray for clarity. And so Source is giving somebody some time to do that. You're going to feel very fortunate that Source gave you the gift to, to sit down and say, okay, let me weigh the pros and cons of some things because I'm starting to notice something that maybe I didn't notice before. Maybe I jumped to some conclusions about something because I was connected to other energies that jumped to conclusions about some things and, and just, just tore everything up. So... Yeah, here we have the Two of Cups here. Yeah, Two of Cups. So Source is definitely putting soulmate energy into your life to help you with some, something because somebody has been under um, male master manipulator. Somebody's um, father could have been a master manipulator, right, of some sorts or whatever. So it could have been somebody that... Um, you dated, whether it was a man or woman that you dated, Leo, their father could have been a master manipulator, draining narcissistic energy in some way, shape, form, or fashion, always hovering over them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And so when you're reading into stuff about people, it's best to be, that's what the balance of, you know, taking that super person cape off is like when you're trying to assess situations and you're saying, okay, I don't want to jump to conclusions about some things. I need to sit down and I need to pour into myself so I can really through the process of elimination, make some things make sense. Like make some things make sense because I'm thinking it's one thing and it's something completely and totally different. So that's what I'm seeing here as far as your, um, as far as your, and so somebody's definitely going to be doing the energy work. Somebody's definitely going to be doing the energy work, you know, as far as that's concerned. So getting away from energies who take, who jump to conclusions about stuff and say, no, no, I, I have my intuition myself and sources saying you're going to have some unexpected changes here when you get from around energy vampires. This energy also, um, somebody could have been in the company of a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, specifically a Cancer because cancer's, uh, Cancer is ruled by the moon. Somebody could have had been in a relationship with a homebody spirit, like somebody who really likes, they don't really come out of their crab shell until unless there's a purpose to come out of the house, right? Those types of energies, if you've been around those types of energies, it's like the homebodies. They like to kind of sort of just stay in the house, process their thoughts, those kind of things. It's not by coincidence that you were around those energies because what was source was set, putting in front of you, whether the relationship was a, ended up a great relationship or you didn't think it was so great relationship, just like source sent you across their path, source sent, you across, sent them across your path. And source is saying to you, it's time for you to learn how to go into your crab shell and process your own thoughts by process of elimination. You can think for yourself because the more you're around energy vampires, Leo, 
the more they get a chance to pour. They drain you dry until you're on E, like your gas is running on E, and they pour themselves into you, their opinions into you, their assumptions into you. And so now you're like, oh, yeah, you know, they wasn't raised right. They was they did this and that because somebody else is projecting themselves onto you. They want you to mirror their energy. They want you to mirror their hovering, their their uh, stalking kind of energies. They want you to mirror something. So when, but the the part that somebody could be missing on is that in the kingdom, there's always someone vying for the top spot. So if you're in obsession mode about anything, somebody's equally as obsessed with coming up behind you. That's the part that somebody, people don't miss. It can be anything, something having to do with your money. Next thing you know, you just like, oh my God, I didn't expect a bill to come in the mail. Oh my God, you know, I got this, this, this addition I need. I mean, not addition, but something broke down in the house and, and I only had the money to pay for it. And it's going to like really throw everything out of line. Something that you created or that you built or something that's of value to you, like your kids or your 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 um, material possessions, your home, whatever. Now all of a sudden, all heck is breaking loose because you were obsessed with one thing and didn't see something else coming up behind you. So in this Lion Gates portal, somebody is definitely saying, I need to get away from energies that are obsessed with um, creating something. Water is uh, water is also connects us with creativity. I need to get from around energies that like to create a bunch of stuff. I can think for myself. I don't need to go in just on limited information and just go throw on a super person cape and go say, try to save the day. And I got limited information because those energies leave you uncovered and unprotected. Those types of energies leave you uncovered and unprotected. So that's the work I see somebody doing. So something is closing out. You're learning how to set very firm boundaries and you're learning how to enforce those boundaries. So soulmate energy coming across your path. Somebody is starting to learn like, okay. Ooh, you're starting to see some things differently now. You start to see things through a totally different lens when you get from around energy vampires. When you get from around those types of energy, you're like, oh my God, they've been draining me dry and pouring all this stuff in through my ear gate and eye gate and having me look at this and watch that and do this and that. So yeah, so you are who somebody prayed for in terms of a soulmate, but your mental health is just as important as your physical health and wealth is definitely within your reach. And so, yeah. Somebody that you've been, um, somebody who has that, who are like, uh, who like instigates stuff, they, their demon is a demon of pride. They like to create a bunch of situations and just sit back and just watch everybody be in survival mode. And so here we have your healing from the pain that some energies cause, right? So your ancestors are proud of you. It's time to do a sacral chakra cleanse, but close out the cycle in love. Sacral chakra, we're talking about the energy of water. So if you feel like if you feel like an ex wronged you in some way, shape, or form, and you've been making a whole bunch of assumptions about their family, look at your own family. That's what Source is trying to help people to do is like stop looking outside of you for answers and look within. Look within. What is it about you that attracted them? Why? How? What? What frequency were you all both on at the same time that attracted you all to each other? What attracted you to the, each other, right? Because now that somebody is starting to, you know, like I said, you're starting to awaken to your, 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 like I said, just a lot of stuff that's going on right now. Pluto is retrograde. Neptune is retrograde. Chiron is retrograde. Uh, Saturn is retrograde. And so something was trying to box your, there was a fire energy that was trying to box you in, like box your water and basically like to control, control your emotions about something. So somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed, Right. Yeah, somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. It could be an ex. It could be ex-friend, ex-love interest, whomever. But source is saying you take the initiative, right? So again, this right here would be like connects us with Cancer. This connects us with Capricorn, you know, which are polarity signs. Source is saying you've been around and around and around and around in circles with something. But both of these signs right here are um, cardinal signs, with our, which are initiators. You initiate the cloak, put the manhole cover over the past. You close out the cycle. You don't need the one last conversation, one last clarity from somebody who, like I said, from any energies who could be horribly manipulated by somebody else. And they can't even make head or tails of what's going on in their own life. So source is saying to you, leave it alone, 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 because source is trying to bring 
new love across somebody's path. Here we have drink more water as a form of self-care. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Somebody is going to learn how to be in divine feminine energy. And I'm talking to men and women, Leos. You're going to learn how to be in... Source is going to break somebody out of this. Every time there's a crisis, you go jump, put your cape on and got to go run to somebody's aid. Source is going to break you out of that. I'm serious. It's because this is too much water here. Because you, you put yourself in danger of being around a bunch of toxins, a bunch of poison. People are poisoning your mind and your thought about stuff. And you're like, oh, I don't know who to believe. And I heard this and yep. And I thought that. So it's like, uh-uh. That's right there. That's just too much. That's too much water. Like it's like they drain some energies are draining you dry and pouring something back into you. When you were high priestess. I'm talking to men and women. High priest, high priestess energy. It's time for you to weigh the pros and cons of some things. And that's when it's going to hit somebody like, oh my God, I didn't see. The devil is always in the details. I did not see such and such. I could not connect the dots. Zero, zero, zero. I'm a creator. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. That's right. Don't waste your time. Just letting in just anything just pour into you. So, so somebody, either you or somebody has been manipulated by a male master manipulator, a male master manipulator. And it also could have been a woman master manipulator too. They could be working together as a couple. Um, but it's, it's time, it, it's time for somebody to talk, to toss some things into a burning bowl. So you can start looking at some stuff for yourself. You're going to start thinking, okay, whoa, okay, I don't have to work as hard because getting your rest, which is a form of healing, Leo, is really going to help you to make sense of some things. It's going to really make you help you to make sense of a whole lot of things. And, um, and like I said, in the thing, if there's been any blockages for you, you know, as far as your money is concerned or like anything of value to you, people, places, and things, right? Anything is of value to you for like, there's been any blockages those blockages are about to be removed just because, again, you are taking the time to get some rest. You're documenting your dreams. You're listening to water sounds. Just basic stuff. Just you're, you're recharging by the elements, right? Getting out and getting some sun. You're, you're ruled by the sun. Why aren't you cleansing by your own element? Why aren't you cleansing by your own ruling luminary? Because we obviously the sun is not a planet. But why aren't you cleansing by your own ruling luminary, right? So that's what I see you manifesting. Receiving. So every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. Bam, there it is right there, your inner guidance. So the next time you think about, okay, you're going to talk about an ex and they was this and horrible. I'm trying to save somebody and that, that employee over there, they just a mess and all that. Ask yourself first, what is in you that attracted you to that? What's about your spirit that y'all are on the same frequency and that's what, what was it that's so attractive? To you not that you were saving somebody like you know for real it's not that we don't have the power to save people you know so what why were they attracted to your water why were they attracted to your water right so um that's what i feel like somebody is in water again is like um you know your Water is your sensuality, your sexuality, your creativity, your emotions, your feelings, your subconscious habits, your moods, those kind of things. You got to really think about it. Like if people are in wilderness situations, let's say you're the only person. I got to give you some examples because let's say you're the only person a person knows when they first relocate into a certain city, state, town or whatever. They don't really know anybody. And so they can come across as clingy to you. You're like, okay, well, why me? You know, why are they so clingy? It's a, because you may be the only person before, until they can get their footing, until they can get their grounding. Or there could be an employee that's just like, you know, in a um, very toxic, poisonous environment at home. And they they are, you know, coming into the office and they just a little, you know, like I said, whatever, something for you could just seem like, okay, w what's going on with them? Never assume that you know. So I said, it's time to sit back and be in receiving mode and look at a process of, like, look at a pattern of, pattern of behavior. That's one. I mean, it's just so many different, it's so many different moving parts to some things, but you got to learn how to pour into yourselves first so that you can be that cool, calm, collected energy that's showing compassion first to yourselves and also compassion to other people. But 
Yeah, why why ask yourself why do you attract so many thirsty spirits? Why do you attract um thirsty spirits? And are you protecting your water? Are you protecting your water? You're very close to achieving your goal. That's what I have for you all. Like I said, happy Lions Gate portal opening. It's going to be at its peak on 8-8. Happy birthday to you all. And uh, like I said before, somebody is going to somebody is going to learn how to see how value you're going to start seeing how valuable it is going back into your crab shell and only coming out of the house when there's a purpose to come out of the house. Talking on the phone with people when there's a purpose, not just talking, just going along with other people's flow and their poison and toxicity. Only somebody is learning how to really be like really sharpen your gifts. Why do you attract certain energies? Are you the one that's in a positive light helping people to adjust their crown or are you just going along with their flow? Right. So that's what I have for you all, Leos. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.